I'm sure you've been wondering how come there are some DJs out there that can stream for one hour, two hours, three hours without having any issues. Hello everyone, this is DJ Blink Blink. So today's discussion is going to be around how you can stream live on Instagram, Facebook or even YouTube. We're talking about your live streaming of your DJ music without getting kicked out or getting that warning message that goes Sony owns the rights to this music. Yeah. I'm sure you've been wondering how come there are some DJs out there that can stream for one hour, two hours, three hours without having any issues. But you, you just come in, you stream for two minutes, five minutes, ten minutes. If you're lucky, 20 minutes and then next thing boom your live stream just gets shut down and they kick you out entirely that's it and you're thinking what exactly have you done wrong and what are those djs doing now there are various combination of stuff that they're doing that i'm going to reveal to you now that if you include with your live set you should hopefully be able to fool the algorithm yes there's an algorithm there's an algorithm within instagram facebook or youtube that stuff is just like Shazam. It listens to the song, the low, the high, the mids, the keys, the wordings of the song, and then it picks it up, and when it picks it up, that's when you get that message, or that's when you get kicked out. So now we know how the system works. So you now ask me, what are these things that you can do that would allow you to stream live for a long while? There are about six things that I use, yeah. Now it's not a magic wand, but if you combine these six pointers, you should hopefully be able to fool the algorithm. So now, what are these six pointers? One, increase your BPM, your beat per minute. That is your tempo. Yeah, your tempo slide. Very simple. Add about four or five BPMs to it. When you do that, you sped up your song and you've thrown a spanner into the works for the algorithm. Now your song is going faster. Two, as soon as you load your song into the first deck, yeah, the first song that is playing, that you've increased the BPM, the next song you're going to play, load it immediately on the second deck. You see where I'm going with that. When you load it into the second deck, begin to combine that song with the first song. This is where your DJ skills comes in. There are various things you can do. You can either remove the low from either songs, or you can remove the mid a little, or reduce it, or tweak the eyes, just walk some magics in regards to the equalizer for the second track into the first track. Now, the third thing you can do is this. Use your microphone. You're doing a live show. Interact with those guys that you are streaming for. That microphone, those conversations you'll be doing, yeah? That's going to throw a massive spanner into the works for the algorithm. Now, four, don't play the song too long. Play the first stanza, play the chorus get out yeah it's like going into a door into another door into a door into another door yeah. five avoid playing popular songs or famous songs we're talking about songs of either people that are dead or alive you know when we're talking about dead people we're talking about people like tupac biggie michael jackson elvis bob marley we're talking about people that are alive we're talking about people like rihanna yes rihanna yeah jay-z avoid playing tracks within those guys if you have to play those songs also, you see those stuff that I told you, increasing the BPM, going in, going out, then if you have no choice, if you have to play those tracks, then make use of all those four sets of information I gave you. Combine everything together, boom, boom, in, out, in, out, increase BPM, that's it. Now, six, which is the last but not the least, your key lock. When we're talking about keys, I'm talking of the Camelot keys. I explained that in detail in another tutorial. If you want to watch that, click on the banner that's going to pop up above here. Now, for every time you increase your tempo, or should I say BPM, normally the key is locked. Now, if you turn off key lock, the key will change. Now, when the key changes and your tempo, or should I say BPM has increased, the algorithm, you fold it massively. Yeah? That doesn't mean the algorithm cannot still catch up with you. But you've now, you've thrown a, not even just spanner, you've thrown spanner, trucks, everything. You know, the scattergun approach, you've thrown everything into the system. So in summary, one, increase your BPM. Two, play another song underneath. So if you loaded the first track, the second track, load it immediately, and then begin to combine both of them. Three, make use of your microphone. Interact with the guys you're streaming for live. Yeah? Four. Don't play any of the tracks too long. In, out, four stanza, chorus, get out of it immediately. Five, don't play famous songs, or should I say popular songs. Either the ones in the chat or those from those that are dead already. Avoid them. 
and then six which is the last but not the least turn off your key lock for your system either serrat or whatever you're using needless to say that's the six pointer so should i say the revelation that can make you stream for a long period on either of those platforms instagram facebook or youtube so yeah this is dj bling bling remember to subscribe to my channel click on the notification bell so you can get notified anytime i upload any tutorials or tips and also give me a thumbs up if you like this video if you have any questions or comments in regards to djing or this live streaming that i explained drop them in the comment section below so this is dj blink blink signing out